Playing Elden Ring co-op is easier than ever before, and you can check which games from your Steam library are compatible with the Steam Deck. This is your daily fix. The hunt for embers is over, as From Software has made playing Elden Ring co-op much easier than its previous games, and definitely easier than the last network test by far. Elden Ring's co-op system is similar to Dark Souls, Demon's Soul, and Bloodborne in which a consumable item must be used to open a player's world to allow allies in for co-op. Scouring the world for the consumable item used to be a feat in itself, but in Elden Ring, the furl calling finger remedy can be crafted using two earthly flowers, materials commonly found in the open area of the game. Like literally, these flowers are like all over the place, so you're not gonna have trouble finding it. This means that within the first few hours of the game, players can craft a substantial number of remedies and regularly summon allies without much fuss. Even offering help is easier in Elden Ring. Players simply need to create a summon sign using the infinitely reusable Tarnish Furled Finger. Players who use the Furled Calling Finger remedies can then see those signs and summon willing players into their world. This is in stark contrast to Dark Souls, Demon's Soul, and Bloodborne, where players had to use an item like Humanity Ember, Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, or Madman's Knowledge to summon co-op allies. These items were not easy to come by, and considering pretty difficult bosses had players die a lot, and dying stops you from doing this, it was a bit frustrating to say the least. Given Elden Ring is also a much bigger game, there's actually more to explore and discover with allies. And if for any reason you don't have a friend online, players can also summon NPC allies without using a remedy by simply finding their golden summon sign, usually placed outside boss encounters. For more Elden Ring, check out IGN's glowing review. And for help adventuring across the lands between, check out IGN's Elden Ring guide, which is updated daily. In other news, Valve has released a new tool that lets players see exactly which games from their Steam library will be compatible with the Steam Deck. Those either on the fence or in anticipation of receiving their Steam Deck can now check out the Steam Deck compatibility page to see which games from their Steam library are either deck verified, deck playable, unsupported, or untested. If a game is deck verified, this means it will be fully functional right out of the box, while deck playable means it will work with minor extra tweaks for configuration. If a game is unsupported, this means the game is currently not functional on the Steam Deck, while untested means Valve just hasn't checked the game for compatibility yet, so you may have to wait for confirmation. Valve has said that the Steam Deck review team is testing games every day, so the list is subject to change daily. The Steam Deck is set to be released in two days on February 25th. And that was your Games Fix for today, February 23rd. Did you miss me? Hope you did. Download the IGN app on all your devices, follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat. For everything else, head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous. Conqueror of the Stars, General Dawn.